Hey folks, BC7 here. How's everybody doing? Just thought I'd take a moment here and show off my new kitty. As you know, there she is. Uh, a while back I introduced you all to Dixie, the black and white cat there, who I rescued from the local shelter after she spent, oh, darn near half her life in there, the poor little thing. So, I was noticing she was getting a little bored, and one of the local pet shops had a fine bunch of these tabbies, mixed colored tabbies. So I went down and found a little boy, idea being to keep her company. Well, <laughs> this is uh, about three minutes after he gets in the house. So, yeah, I've just set him down on the floor, opened the door, and I'm going to sort of leave them to their own devices. You know, so far, he hasn't even noticed she's there, of course, but, you know, it doesn't take long. Tis a cat, after all. And, uh, yeah. She just started growling really low. Sorry there's no audio from the uh, film itself. I'd, it's the little action cam that I normally have hanging off the bottom of my... Uh, yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, it, it's for uh, drone flying, not really for kitty cams, but there you go. So the sound on it is just bloody terrible is what I'm getting at does all right on the video but yeah so there she is she's had a little hiss he's had a little hiss i'm thinking well <laughs> this is gonna end well yeah i don't think he's ever hissed before see he hisses and then he kind of has a little lick because it makes him drool and stuff <laughs> yeah he's, oh, uh -oh. i am a little concerned she's just gonna smack him one but and when I got her, she had just, uh, the last of her kittens had just been given away. She was a feral cat and had been captured in the wild with a litter of kittens. And because for some reason, and I don't know what it is, but apparently black and white cats are the least adopted from shelters. They tend to be the ones that unfortunately don't get out. And uh, I had no idea until well after I got her that that was the case, but... Um, so yeah, all her kittens had been given away, so I thought she might take to a kitten. That's why I didn't get another cat. So, there, I'm just calming her down a little, because she's just growling. I'm thinking the little guys. Mm, I'm getting a little nervous. And she's like, leave me alone. I'm a cat. That's a cat. We'll sort this out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, he's a little nervous about the whole thing. But, uh... Yeah, 19th of June, <coughs> 2016. You can see it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Beautiful summer day, so you got to come home on a nice day. They're both going to be indoor cats. I actually got Dixie because old Tommy, who was 21 years old, passed away a couple of years ago. And then last winter, my other cat, Stewie, who I had for oof, 11 years, uh, well, we think he probably got out by the local cougars. Because, uh, well, we live in a small town out in the middle of BC wilderness, basically. And it is rife with bear, raccoon, cougar. So these are indoor kitties. And, uh, and so that's why I decided to get a kitten. I was worried that, uh, my cat Dixie was getting a little bit too bored. She was certainly getting a little, uh, plump. <laughs> For the amount of time I'd had her, she went from a tiny, tiny cat to, uh, well, the princess that she is. So, but yeah, I eventually decided that either they were camera shy or uh, this wasn't going to work. He just felt too sheltered in there. So I shut the camera off and I actually popped the top off the shelter and walked away and went and sat on my computer for a while so yeah but uh here is uh, a couple of days later <laughs> and uh, as you can see there's dixie on the top of the cat tree contraption i built for them and there he is he hasn't figured out yet that if he jumps up on that gray part right at the edge of the couch you see there that's part of the cat tree too and it's a lower level and you can basically just hop up onto the upper pad or maybe it's part of the game, I don't know. But yeah, they were at this point uh, 
spent way more time playing. I've actually had to uh, put towels in the bottom of my bathtub for fear that every time they end their chase, they jump into the tub. I don't know why. It's kind of odd. One of these days, I'm going to leave three inches of water in there. But, um, yeah, so uh, my tub's right above my neighbor's bedroom, <laughs> my downstairs neighbor's bedroom. So I'm thinking, you know, yeah, three o'clock in the morning, and they decide to have a little run about the house, and up downstairs, it sounds like somebody's practicing the bass drum. But, uh, yeah. So... Dixie's using the classic dangle her tail over the sides and then laugh as he bangs his head on the board trying to get at it. <laughs> yeah, she thinks that's a pretty good. Yeah, it's la 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 la, here, over here, you. <laughs> uh, yeah, they really like that. A uh, really nice lady in town gave me a nice piece of carpet to build that when she heard I was getting Dixie, so I thought she should have a nice tree to climb on for an indoor kitty. The little curved part is actually a piece of uh, Lexon, also known as bulletproof glass, but yeah, it's uh, <laughs> bent into a curve and then covered in terry cloth. So they can both jump onto it from the top of the post and there's no way it'll crack or break ever. We actually had a bear attack a piece of that and completely destroyed the thing it was nailed to, but a piece of uh, Lexan was absolutely pristine. <laughs> so here we are. She's like, hey, where'd you go? Ah, oh, that Dixie. Always willing to lend a helping hand. Yes, indeed. Which will... See her pretty quick, she does, because she starts feeling sorry for him. But this is uh, what I had hoped for. You can see how playful she is now, keeping themselves busy. Before it would become bug me, and if I was busy rendering movies or making videos or out painting apartments or whatever, she'd get pretty bored. So. This little guy is getting quite the body work out here. He's up and down that post and up and down. <laughs> uh, well, she's knocking toys off at him now. That was her little gopher she just pitched at him. I put all their toys back up there every night, and uh, they make it a specific point to throw them all up somewhere on the floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, don't you see my tail? Yeah, there she is. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> whack it, whack it, whack. <laughs> so they did work things out, as you can see. In fact, uh, <laughs> he's like, "I'm out of here. I give up." He does figure out very shortly how to get up there, though. But uh, as you can see here, which is, uh, well, quite a few days later, they're, uh, he's getting bigger, and they're quite used to each other, really enjoy each other's company now. And, uh, yeah, I think the only, uh, the only thing in the world he likes better than Dixie, I think, is me. A little guy. They're just like dogs when I come home. If I've been out, they both come running in up to the door. And he stands on my foot and rubs and squeaks at me. And she sits down in front of me and purrs her little face off, waiting to get patted. And here they are. Being, uh, well, being cats on a hot, sunny set or uh, summer afternoon. So there you go, guys. Just wanted to uh, show you my little family. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Take care of each other, folks. Ciao for now. <laughs> oh, you gonna wave bye, Dixie? That's my girl. Yes, no, just bored with the whole thing. Ah, oh, well, bye-bye.